In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a software called Woxo. Woxo is a mass social media content creator and it's got some really unusual features that I've not seen any other software provide. So if you're into mass content creation with simplicity, you're gonna wanna watch this video to the end because Woxo has some really funky features. Woxo currently has a lifetime deal for their software. So in other words, that's a one time fee rather than paying the monthly price. Now I don't know how long they're going to have this offer up for. I think it's because they're fairly new. They're looking to reach out and kind of get enough people on the platform before they change their pricing plan. So if you get in now, you will be fixed in for that lifetime deal. And I'll leave the link below for you to enjoy. Well, here we are in the Woxo platform and this is broken down into two main features. You've got the video creator and you've got the widget creator. You have your sidebar here for quick access and then you've got a bunch of tutorials uh, that you can go through. The tutorials are video and text based as well which is a nice touch. Now let's start off with the video creation. You can split between pets, quotes, ecom, food and if you go into the more tab it will just show you a whole bunch of templates that you can utilize. Let's go ahead and select this template. You might recognize this area here and it's most commonly Excel or a spreadsheet or Google Sheets or something on those lines. And this is how we create really fast content. Now, uh, before I show you the true USP of this software, this works very simply. You will click on the image here. You can type in whatever you want. So let's just say we want another dog and we've got all of these different royalty-free dog videos we can use. Go ahead and select it press accept and then to the right it's changed and as you can see we've got the title which is this bit you can drag this title all around and if you want to change the title just click here and change the text and change the text the exact same with the text here fun facts about subscribing and again you can change the image just like so go ahead and add a cat image that's accept and you can upload your own uh, files as well and then to the right you can just press play and if you want to skip ahead by all means. Basically how simple it is just to put stuff together but if we want to create more videos watch what happens when I try to click on this next cell. It says please don't create a video from scratch just duplicate the last video instead so let's go ahead and do that and then within a couple of seconds we now have a second video right here and we can start editing it and that's basically what you would do you just work your way down. You can also go ahead and slide this left and right just to create more room for you. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the true USP of this software. We're going to go ahead and click on integrations and then you can see we can import Google Sheet or CSV files. Let's go ahead and do import Google Sheet and then we need a URL. I've already created a test Google Sheets document and I know it looks a bit uh, compact but very simply for every single scene you have three columns. You've got the media column which is the video or the image, you've got the title and then you have the general text. Okay so as you can see it says media Video 1, Title 1, Text 1. That means uh, Scene 1, Scene 1, Scene 1. And then if you want more scenes, you just do Media 2, Title 2, Text 2. And then if you want a third scene, Media 3, Title 3, Text 3. And then you just keep going up like that for as many scenes as you want. Now you can also include dynamic features here, such as email addresses, names, uh, color fonts, backgrounds and stuff like that. But I don't want to overwhelm and jam pack this video with a whole bunch of information that is actually really easy to use as you start progressing with the software. So uh, I will show briefly that, but a little later down the line. What we're gonna do is grab this URL. I'm gonna grab that URL like you And we're gonna go back to integrations, Input Google Sheets and we're going to paste that URL, then click pull. Now you can see it's got 19 rows in that column. So we're gonna in this Google Sheet. So we're just gonna go ahead and do import videos. And as you can see, it's dragged in all of that Google Sheets document with all the information and all the relevant videos. It even adds in background music as well. Now, another cool thing that you can do is if you let's say select this text, actually highlight the title and the text over here, it just makes editing really simple nice and easy. You can also mute the music by clicking the little icon here but overall that's how simple using this is and now we have 19 videos ready to be published onto TikTok or whatever social media platform I choose. So the next step is exporting but just before we get into that there's actually a branding icon here. Now at the moment you can see I've not customized my 
uh, icon or anything like that but to do that you click on branding and then you can use your own branding just like so and then just click on logo and you can change that or upload to whatever you want i currently don't have anything to brand it under uh, with this account but just know you can change the branding and even the fonts and the text color and all of that stuff okay so the next step is exporting so let's go ahead and do export and what you can see here is hit the button and let us do the magic for the 19 videos so let's go ahead and do that okay so now after just about a minute and 10 seconds roundabout here it's finished producing every single video in that spreadsheet which can now be downloaded with ease you can do all the standard stuff like download all the videos at once share all the videos at once by any of these platforms including zapier uh, and you've also got the dynamic content button. Let's go ahead and toggle this. This is where things get really interesting and I'm not gonna go into too much detail here because if you know about dynamic content, you know about dynamic content. If you don't, it might be a bit overwhelming. So I'm just gonna keep to the absolute basics here. This one video has been generated in lots of different formats for us and let's just go ahead and start checking them out. So if we click the copy URL here, you can see it opens up this little box. And if you wanted to embed this into your into your autoresponder like MailChimp, you will just take this code, this merge tag here, okay? This is where we start getting into dynamic realm. So if you've got a name or in your autoresponder, you've got a list of people, have this merge tag auto replace the name field and it will do it in the video as well. So if you got hello George, it will actually populate the video with hello George. How cool is that? If you just want a standard URL, click the open button and it will download it like so just open it there you have it the landing page so if we go ahead and do copy url copy this now you have a landing page where you can send it to someone pull it on your website do whatever and people can download it but what's even better is again you have those dynamic features so if you send it to an email it will populate the information for that individual so it's super personalized so that's the video area let's go ahead jump over to the widget side of things click on widgets and you can format the widgets in whatever platform that you want to target but let's just go ahead and do tiktok because tiktok's kind of the big thing at the moment and you can choose a template or we can just do start new project here We've got all of these different formats here. Just give it a second to load. Pretty stylish formats as well, which tie nicely in with Instagram. You can also type in an account that you want to target. So I'm gonna use my dog's Instagram account, Yugi the Cockapoo. It's now been populated with my dog's Instagram account. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one because it's quite a nice one. And once again, it's a really nice, simple interface. You can change the desktop or the mobile phone versions. You can change the title and even amend the text if you desire. So I'll just remove follow there and there you go. You can change the logo size or just remove the logo size. I'm gonna keep it on because it's nice and I'm gonna make it bigger just by sliding it. You can connect your Instagram account and uh, start making it a little bit more dynamic dynamic uh, filtering out by hashtags and stuff like that then you've got the layout and you can change the color scheme to dark you can change the max width add more or less columns or space between cards just like so you can also customize it on the mobile device as well or you can change the uh, follow button and you can even change the text if you desire and then anyone who understands that basic css you know if you wanted to change the text or the color of the text let's say we wanted to color it uh, change the color of the text to yellow you can see that's now been changed if you want to transform the text to let's say um uppercase even if you want to add a background you can do so let's do a red background for example okay and then if you want to add padding you can just like so it's it's very simple and it just works now once you're happy with that go ahead and click publish copy the code and you can see it's got helpful tutorials for WordPress, Shopify, Wix or other platforms. But ultimately, you'll just grab this and paste it into your website and then it will display accordingly. Now, even though I showed the basics of this software, this sort of software would work amazing with RSS feeds, quotes, animal pictures, all sorts of things. If you're just trying to produce mass amounts of content, if you created a WordPress website, connect it with Zapier, every single post on that WordPress website, 
it syncs into Zapier with the image, the text, the title and stuff like that. And then boom, you import that into Waxo and you are releasing content like an animal. Anyway, we have come to the end of this video. If you want more information about the dynamic features or if you are a little confused with something I've said in the video, go ahead and leave a comment below. I always reply. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.